It's okay. It's okay. It's not okay though, it's not. You know, on Roblox. You know, Sam was on Roblox yesterday. And a thing popped up and he started laughing. And I was like, mommy, look. And it was a picture of my cry face. And it was a game that someone made of Roblox. And it said Kim's new sex tape. When you clicked on it, thank God he can't read yet. And it's like over my dead body, is this shit gonna happen to me again? I just want it gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I, I had to hold my laughter in there for a long time because I don't want to laugh over the, the sound of it because it's quiet enough as it is. But yes, welcome everyone. Back to a different opinion. <laughs> I don't even know if this is much of a different opinion, but I love to see when these super rich celebrities get caught up with their past. They get caught up with their dumb decisions that they made when they were younger. And this is what you got to deal with, right? We all got to deal with repercussions and consequences of our own actions. You decided to go make a sex tape that got released. And now someone sent a crying picture face of her kind of you know you're in sex and said that your mom's new sex tape is out click on this and now she's having the biggest cry ever there's one thing you should look at right she shouldn't be obviously this is all planned right like their what do you call it real life show that they have on disney obviously we know it's fake as heck it's always staged but the funniest thing is that she says i just wanted to go away right you can't make it go away. This is one thing that money can't make go away, Kim Kardashian. And this is probably a woman that I loathe probably even more than Meghan Markle is Kim Kardashian, all right? She thinks that you throw money at anything, it goes away. If you are, you know, a very famous celebrity, that you are above normal people. You are not. The only reason why you are famous is because of your sex tape. And you weren't even the famous one in the sex tape to begin with. And this is the only reason why. is because every single time you just kept getting a more famous boyfriend, more famous boyfriend, more famous boyfriend, until you got your own kind of contract and own following. Now that to me is literally the definition of a celebrity hookup. And you can say what you want to say, you can disagree, yeah that's fine. Let me know in the comments below why you disagree. But she kept jumping from boyfriend to boyfriend to boyfriend, same as her sisters. Boyfriend, famous boyfriend, famous boyfriend, famous boyfriend. None of them ever stick with one of them for too long. Look how many relationships they've been through. Look at the crap that they put their kids through. That's what I wonder. You know, they always act like I'm such good, we're such good parents, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, your kids are the ones that pay the price. There's no real dad figure in their life. Half the time you're around the world traveling. You know, going to all the little fashion shows, all this type of stuff, because you want to stay relevant. Even though you are worth hundreds of millions of dollars, you can literally retire right now, look after your family exactly the same as Meghan Markle could, but you sell your soul for freaking money. You make a deal with Disney, you sell your soul for money, unfortunately. That is what's happened. They got to do this stupid show, whatever. I don't even know if they're still part of Disney. It doesn't really matter to me. But they keep making these shows. They're worth so much money, they can retire. She can literally look after her kids, but no, she is not doing it. All she does is cry about her things, trying to stay relevant, and it's very sad that this is the people that kids look up to, right? And, and I kind of wonder, like, why are the younger girls so, you know, toxic? And also, same with the young guys, like, I'm not being sexist here, but this is the role models that they look up to. They look up to a Kim Kardashian, Right? How many seasons has she had now of her show? These kids grow up watching them. Young guys, they also got bad role models as well. Depends who you're choosing on both sides. Obviously, there are good women to look up to. But it's not the same as it was about 30 years ago. And they wonder why most relationships don't last anymore. There, I think there's over like 5 million OnlyFans workers. And there's like another over 10 million like cam workers as well. There's a statistic that under the age of 35, there's more sex workers in america than there is teachers what type of future is that bringing along what happens when all these teachers retire there's not going to be enough you know woman teachers out there anymore and that's the thing that i look at in the long run is that people like this are so detrimental to society but it is what it is let me know what you think about it below i'm just so happy that you know this is finally caught up imagine when her kid is 18 
Imagine when her kid is 18 and all the friends are like coming around. Look at your mom's sex tape. Haha, this is your mom's sex tape. Imagine being that kid. It would suck. It'll nearly suck as much as when you're growing up, going through school, you never have a stable household. You always have drama coming in. And then you're probably not even being raised by her because she's around the world half the time looking for a new lover instead of worrying about her kids. But anyway, I'll end it on that one there. Leave a like if you like the video. Comment as well. Like I said, let me know what you think about the situation below. And subscribe as well if you do want to see future videos. And also hit the notification bell. You'll be able to see my videos first. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.